Hey guys, in the last video I showed you how to log in to i3 without a display manager, just using the Stardex. In this one I was going to show you guys how to uh, save your passwords in GNOME Keyring. If you don't know what GNOME Keyring is, it's part of GNOME where it just saves your passphrases, your passwords, uh, anything that's attached to GNOME that you want to save, that, that you want to keep secure and then you can use it uh, in i3. So there's two ways of doing this. There is what is known as the PAM method and then there's also the XINITRC method. The one I'm going to show you guys tonight is the PAM method. So if we go over to the Arch Wiki here uh, and then as you can see it's you pretty much have to keep uh, as long as your GNOME uh, your GNOME key ring password is the same as yours then this should work so let's open up a terminal here and let's go to uh, the Etsy slash pam.d.login uh, let's see here really quick it would help if I spelled Etsy correctly So as you can see, uh, I have the authorization required here. So as we can go down, all the way down to the bottom here, we'll uh, go one more line. So line eight. So what we want to do is put session, and then what we want to do is say optional, and then Pam underscore gnome underscore keyring dot so and then you want to move over just a little bit and then make sure you go auto start and then all you have to do is save that okay one second again okay so once you have this session optional pam underscore gnome underscore keyring dot so and then auto start you want to save it and then that's it for that um, the second one is you want to make sure you put the password option into the PAM uh, password part so let's do this again the reason why just a side note the reason why I use sudo is it's just an old habit I'm trying to get away from it so just forgive me on the pseudo parts of this so etsy slash pam dot d dot p a s s w d so with this one again you want to go all the way back or down one more and then just do password go optional again and then do pam gnome keyring.so okay so once we're done with this <coughs> we want to save it and I did forget to add one more thing into the previous one the login uh, so let's do that really fast and so it's this part right here so we're just going to uh, just copy and paste this in so I don't have to write this out anymore so copy and then make sure you're here and we'll just put it here and then here so make sure you save that too so that's all you need um, but there is one more thing that you have to do is make sure that you put uh, some code into uh, your xinitrc file and I'll show you what that is so what you need to put in your xinitrc file is right here so again let's open up our terminal here let's scroll down a little here you just want to go to your xinit I got an alias for this so you can see on here I have eval and then the the pathway 
to my user keyring daemon and then I'm starting it and then it's just exporting my SSH authentication sockets and then you also would want to put down export and then you want to do your gpg underscore agent underscore info and then that should do it you do not need any of the and symbols here because it will just uh, evaluate that and then uh, we'll save this so if I restart this I should only have to put in my authorization stuff once so that's all I have for today guys um, if you have any comments or suggestions about future videos please uh, put them down in the comments and hopefully you have a good day